Well, you know what? En enough about enough about grunge rock midgets. Um, why are we here today? Oh, well, this is probably why we're here today. One of my favorite issues of Nintendo Power, actually, The Legend of Zelda: a Link to the Past. Now, why is that one of my favorite issues? Because it got me. I know, I know, I know. Well, do tell. Well, because well, it's your favorite game of all time, actually. So well, more specifically, it got me introduced to what would eventually be my favorite game of all time: The Legend of Zelda. The Le The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Did you ever play it? Um, I did. Briefly, I gotta say, eh. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot. Ah, 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 ah. Um, no, you know, I, I, I played it briefly. I'm, I'm more of a classic guy. I, I love the original. Um, didn't really like the second one. Sorry. I um, never, I never played the first or the second when it came out. What? Are you nuts? You have sense though, right? I play the first one, not okay. the second one. All right, well you're not missing much on the second one, but all right, here we go. Come on, fanboys, I want to hear the, I want to hear, hear the hate. Go fuck off, and because you know, y'all like to y'all like scream pretty loud, but now I'm me personally, I, I'm not a fan of the second one. I'm not a fan of uh, Link to the Past. Um, if I had to break it down, like what's my favorite? Obviously, it'd be the first one, Legend of Zelda. And then I'm going to jump to Well, Ocarina. how did you first play it? Um, if you go back and watch our uh, NES memory video, you will see that I got into Legend of Zelda, first played Legend of Zelda, because my mom actually, that was her reasoning for buying a Nintendo, was Legend of Zelda. The, the, thing, the thing with Zelda, I mean, Zelda now is spanning, what, 25 years? I, I, you know, I, they're probably gonna have like some 25 year anniversary thingy in the jiggy. Didn't they just do that? I don't know, did they? I mean, it came out in 87 in North America. That's, I think, in August 87 in, in North America. That's carried the one. Yeah, 25 oh, years. That was last month. It was last month. And we missed it. Damn it. <laughs> well, North America, anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah well, whatever. Um, no, actually, there was a, a huge spread on it in uh, Game Informer. What? Oh, okay. 25 year anniversary. I don't read Game Informer anymore unless we're in it. Game Chasers! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Little, um, no, but, um, you know, Legend of Zelda. Classic series. Um, a, a huge, a huge franchise in, in Nintendo. Um, I think Zelda, along with Mario, obviously, I think are the reason for console sales uh, when it comes to Nintendo. Um, you know, but my, my favorites are the first one. I didn't like the next two after that. Um, jump ahead to Nintendo. But I don't understand. Why did you not like Legend? It's such, if you liked the first one, how could you not like the a Link to a Past? It's it's just, it's a better game and it's better graphics, better story, just all around. Uh, it's well, it's I mean, awesome, you're, dude. You're you're forgetting about <laughs> Well, that was whatever. Slick. My bad. Well, don't don't edit it. I don't care. You're forgetting about the Adventure Link also in between there. Did you did you play this one? No. You didn't. You... I never played Zelda until Link to the Past. Okay. My friends were playing Zelda across, the and I didn't get it. I didn't understand because I, I got introduced to the NES playing side-scrolling platforming games like Mario and Castlevania stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. When I saw an overhead game like Zelda, I just it just didn't appeal to me, and so I skipped it. I, and and then I ended up looking at this magazine right here, this particular one, seeing Zelda, and go, you know what? That actually looks pretty dead gum cool. You know, I, I might have I, I to might... go rent that game. And I ended up going and renting Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. And as soon as I took it home, I knew I'd be I knew I had to have it. It was it was just I fell in love with the thing. I hate when you do that. I fell in love with the thing. Dude, I mean you start off, it's all raining, you have to go and find your uncle, and you get to he gives you your sword and it's like continue my quest, young one. It's not that exact words, but dude, no, it's just it... awesome. Maybe I didn't put enough time into it. Maybe I, I just, you know, the whole didn't really play Super Nintendo that much. Uh, I, I just, 
I'm just like, man, whatever. Take it or leave it. But, I mean, if you want to jump forward a console to Nintendo 64, you want to talk about Ocarina of Time. Well, I like Ocarina of Time. That, Ocarina, Ocarina is amazing. Um, but see, I'm kind of like, Ocarina is so awesome. Majora's Mask, I'm like, meh. Well, it's vastly different, that's why. They're all different in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I mean, you take take what what is it? Uh, uh, Four Swords, you know, or or Wind Waker. Well, yeah, they always introduce new some new elements, but Majora's Mask is just, just just so drastic in terms of because it was the first one to actually have a time limit, you know, um, and repeating the days and stuff. But I understand how because I didn't get it at first either, um, and I wasn't a fan of games going into 3D. So it kind of turned me off a little bit, and I think that's why I didn't really get into the 64 to begin with. But as I started playing it, and I got getting more into it, in fact, I think the first time I played it was Mike Imperial playing it at... Um, Waterford. Waterford. Waterford, over there off of where the new stadium is, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, Waterford Apartments. Yeah. Right, right. Um, I, I mean, I, Ocarina is, is, I think, probably the best Zelda. If it's going to come in second place, it'll be second to, I'm going to say it, it's newer uh, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess was pretty freaking awesome. I played that one on the Wii um, 100%. I put I put like 65 hours into that game, dude. Oh, it's great. It's it's a great game. Um, it, it, does, it's not, it doesn't rank up there to, for me, to the great Zelda games. I like Link's Awakening on the Game Boy, and I know you've never put any second worth of gameplay into that because you no, know, don't play Game Boy. I don't, I don't do handhelds. I, I love Link's Awakening, and a lot of people are probably going to disagree with this, but I absolutely love Wind Waker. And a lot of people hate it simply for the fact that you're just traveling for like 10, 15 minutes of no gameplay. You're just going on the, the water and going from island to island. I love that. I don't know what it is. It's just like you're actually exploring. It's actually freaking cool to me. And I love the cell shaded graphics. It's it's different. It's not realistic looking. Some people don't like that. I love it. I love the graphics. I love the gameplay. I love everything about that game. I absolutely love it. It's probably it's close. It's a close second tie for Ocarina as best selling game for me. See, I remember fanboys being pretty upset about about that one coming out. I know, I know a lot of people were. It didn't look like Zelda. It yeah, it looked know. too cartoony. Yeah, so. is the, and I understand. I understand if you wanted a more realistic Zelda, but come on, it looked cool. I mean, going in and, 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 and trying to find your way out of that gel cell near the beginning of the game, and just, oh, it was, oh, I love it. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to give Nintendo credit on that one for, for coming out of their, their comfort zone, so to speak, and, and doing something so drastic um, and... And and kind of kind of taking a risk. Sometimes you, you gotta change things up a, 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 a few. You know, because if you keep doing the, the same thing over and over and over and over again, even though it works, you know Zelda's not exactly broke. Don't fix it. Sometimes you just gotta reinvent yourself every so often. Which is why the third season of Game Chasers, you know, we're gonna be replacing ourselves with robots. It was inevitable. <laughs> it has to happen. Sorry. Uh, robots, maybe overkill. Androids, at least. Oh, okay. cyborgs. Cyborgs. Um, it, it might be actually us turning into cyborgs. Or completely shirtless. Yo, know, boom. <laughs> or degenerating, just like this entire segment. One of the two. So, uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, obviously, one of the one of the greatest video game series of all time. I think we can both agree on, uh, on yeah. that one. Legend okay. of Zelda, good or is it a good or is it not? Um, I'm gonna say overall a good. Um, <laughs> it's gonna get the I think two it, shady thumbs up of approval. I think, in my expert gaming opinion, the Legend of Zelda actually ended up being a really good thing for the gaming world. I agree. Did you even play game? You don't even play games, do you? No, I'm, I'm lying. I don't know what's a Zelda. This guy. Game chasers! Why why do how come everything we do just kinda just nosedives? I don't know. I don't know. Legend of Zelda. That's the way game playing goes.